Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. From Rabbi Yates, today we'll be exploring Genesis 18. Abraham and Sarah are visited by some very special people, and Abraham attempts to intercede for the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. Don't forget that you can email us here at Daily Visual Bible by using this address. Please be sure to subscribe. I cannot begin to tell you how much it helps us out, and in return, we will send you unique links to bonus videos. Now let's do things right and open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 18 Yahweh appeared to Abraham at the Oaks of Mamre, as he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and saw that three men stood opposite him. When he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door, and bowed himself to the earth and said, My Lord, if now I have found favour in your sight, please don't go away from your servant, and let a little water be fetched, wash your feet, and rest yourselves under the tree. I will get a morsel of bread so you can refresh your heart. After that you may go your way, though you have come to your servant. They said, Very well, do as you have said. Abraham hurried to the tent to Sarah and said, Quickly, prepare seven litres of fine meal, knead it, and make cakes. Abraham ran to the herd and fetched a tender and good calf and gave it to the servant. He hurried to dress it. He took butter, milk, and the calf which he had dressed and set it before them. He stood by them under the tree and they ate. They asked him, Where is Sarah your wife? Abraham said, See, in the tent. One of them said, God will certainly return to you at about this time next year, and behold, Sarah your wife would have a son. So I heard and sent door, which was behind them. Abraham and Sarah were old, well advanced in age. Sarah had passed the age of childbearing. Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I have grown old, will I have pleasure, my lord being old, also? Yahweh's angel said to Abraham, why did Sarah laugh, saying, Will I really bear a child, yet I am old? Is there anything too hard for Yahweh? At a set time, God will return to you, and the season comes round, and Sarah will have a son. Then Sarah denied it, saying, I didn't laugh, for she was afraid. The angel said, No, but you did laugh. The men rose up from there, and looked towards Sodom. Abraham went with them to see them on their way. Yahweh's angel said, When I heard from Abraham what God has chosen to do, this Abraham will surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth will be blessed in him. We have known him to the end that he may command his children, and his household after him, that they may keep the way of Yahweh to do righteousness and justice, to the end that Yahweh may bring on Abraham that which he has spoken of him. Yahweh's angel said, Because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is infamous, I will go down now and see whether their deeds are as bad as the reports which have come to Yahweh. If not, I will know. The men turned from there, and went towards Sodom. But Abraham stood yet before them. Abraham came near and said, Will Yahweh consume the righteous with the wicked? What if there are fifty righteous within the city? We consume and not spare the place for the fifty righteous who are in it. Be it far from him to do things like that, to kill the righteous with the wicked, so that the righteous should be like the wicked. May that be far from him. Shouldn't the judge of all the earth be right? Yahweh's angel said, If we find in Sodom fifty righteous within the city, then he will spare the whole place for their sake. Abraham answered, See now, I have taken it on myself to speak of the Lord, although I am dust and ashes. What if they are like five of the fifty righteous? Will he destroy the entire city for lack of five? Yahweh's angel said, He will not destroy it if we find 45 there. 
uh, Bram spoke to him yet again and said, What if there are 40 found there? Yahweh's angel said, He will not do it for the 40's sake. Abraham said, oh, Don't let the Lord be angry, and I will speak. What if there are 30 found there? Yahweh's angel said, You will not do it if we find 30 there. Abraham said, See now, I have taken on myself to speak of the Lord. What if there are 20 found there? Yahweh's angel said, You will not destroy it for the 20's sake. Abraham said, but don't let the Lord be angry, and I will speak just once more. What if ten are found there? The always angel said, He will not destroy it for the ten's sake. The always angels went their way as soon as they had finished communing with Abraham, and Abraham returned to his place. <laughs>